Hey friends, we're sharing our January budget update today. So if you're interested in seeing our real numbers budget for our family of eight, then you're in the right place. I'm Stephanie from SixFiguresUnder.com where we share frugal inspiration and financial motivation to help families get out of debt and reach their financial goals. We're a little late in getting this budget update up because we spent all of January and the first week of February filming tons of new content for the Frugal Fresh Start Challenge, so we've been pretty busy. In case you missed it, I'll put the link to the playlist down below. Check it out so you can reset your money habits and reach your goals. Now for our budget. We live on last month's income, so the money that we budgeted and spent in January was money that we earned in December. And we held on to all the money that we earned in January to use in February. I'll show you all that in a minute. Let's jump right in and I'll share my screen with you. Welcome to our family budget. Okay, as usual, I'll go through all of our spending, all of our earning, all of our goals for the month of January. So starting with income, we this is the money that we earned in January. I keep track of it here in this category, put all the money earned into this category, and then at the end of the month, I subtract out any Airbnb expenses and then subtract out the rest of it, whatever's left, and that sends the money to the next month. So this is money that we'll spend in February. I also track it right up here. These are the three, our three main sources of income, my husband's job for the state of California, my blog, and then our family's Airbnb income. We have a, a one bedroom apartment on our property that we rent out with Airbnb. And then I just keep this in this little note up here so that I know about our tithing for next month. So that brings us right into spending. Our first spending category is tithing. We tithe 10% on the money that we earned in the month previous. So all of this spending comes from what we earned the previous month. So this is all money that was earned in December. So we have tithing and fast offering. That's a donation we make through our church to help the poor in our area. Okay, monthly bills. These are expenses that come up every month. Um, they, they, some of them change, some of them don't. Our mortgage, if you remember from December, we refinanced our house in at the end of November, beginning of December, something like that. This is the first month that we've had a regular mortgage payment on that new mortgage. So you can see it's a lot less than it used to be. It's still a 15 year mortgage. My husband is working on a, a post and video that will go into all the details of why we did that and how it's saving us money. Okay, electricity. We This is our highest electric bill we've ever had, $479. Now this does cover our house and our Airbnb rental. And last year sometime we got a new mini split in the Airbnb that uses just electric, whereas last winter it was on propane. So that's probably why this is higher than it's ever been. Car insurance, $169. That's for two vehicles. We have two vans that we're driving right now. Internet, $65. That's pretty steady. Water, this was another one that's higher than it's ever been, actually. So the bill comes every other month, and we've been setting aside $60 a month. Um, because the bill was about 120 or less. This bill was $163. So we had set aside $60 back in December. So we had to pay $103 to get to the $163 bill. So we'll be, we'll be putting more toward water each month now. Um, the, the rates went up. Our usage was up as well, but, but the rates have gone up. So we'll, we'll set aside more and see what we can do to, save water. Trash, this is an every other month expense. So we put aside 37 each month and then the bill is due every other month. My cell phone through Republic Wireless is two is $22 a month. That's a great deal. I think I have one gigabyte of data and that's plenty for me because I'm usually on Wi-Fi. I'll put a link to that in the description below because I totally recommend that to anyone who is spending way more than that on their cell phone. Home phone, we have a phone through UMA. That's, it's not a, a landline per se. It's, it's a VoIP phone, but um, we love having that at home so that our kids can call us if, if they're at home, they don't have cell phones. Um, or when my husband is working from home, then he can use that phone as well. 
orthodontist, we have a, our oldest has braces right now. We paid $500 down on that, and then we pay $61 a month for two years for that. We, people have asked about this. We don't consider that a debt. Like, we, we could have paid that up front if we wanted to, but since it's a service that happens monthly, just like our internet or water or trash, it happens every month, we, um, we decided to just pay the $61 a month. Okay, piano, we don't have anything in this category this month, but it's there to remind us when we set the budget for February that we are going to start piano lessons for my daughter. I've, I've taught her myself, but I want her to go to a teacher that's not me. <laughs> okay, our everyday expenses. Starting with food, we set a $400, $450 food budget normally, but for the second day of the Frugal Fresh Start Challenge, when we decided to cut something quick, we went to our grocery budget and decided that we would spend $25 a week on groceries, and other than that, we would eat from our freezer and pantry. And we did it. We survived. We spent $102 on food for our family of eight for the month of January. Now, don't get me wrong. We have a lot of food at home so it wasn't it wasn't too much of a struggle we just went without you know sour cream and cheese and the things that we ran out of quickly but it was good because we were able to eat some things in our pantry that otherwise we were ignoring and eat some things that we had in our freezer for gas for the cars we spent 386 dollars i'm always happy when it's under 400 so no complaints here my husband commutes to downtown an hour away so our gas spending is more than a lot of people's <laughs> plus it's california and gas is expensive okay household miscellaneous this category was was bad this month um if you saw in one of our other videos from the frugal fresh start we had a kitchen sink our kitchen sink faucet broke um and we we had been wanting to replace that ever since we moved in but we just hadn't it hadn't been a priority yet but this month it or in january it broke and so we replaced it with a nice a nice faucet so that was i think around two hundred dollars just for that um and then we had our other regular miscellaneous things we toner for the printer clothing not very much this was we spent a little bit at the thrift store um a little bit on thread up just things here and there for the kids mostly <laughs> okay animals this we got a couple bags of chicken food a bag of cat food school activities so school sports cost $75 and we have a kid playing basketball right now so that's $75 for that sport allowances we do $60 a month for allowances for our kids and I have a whole blog post that I will link below that explains why we do that we actually don't have it tied to specific chores um, but I, you can read that blog post if you want to know how we do allowances because I haven't made a video yet for that. Okay, our sinking funds. These are funds where we put money every month or most months, but we don't necessarily spend from those categories during the month. It's the money's there. When we need it, we know that, for example, we'll have a car repair eventually that will be more than we want to cover in one month and so we put the three hundred dollars every month and then when we need the money it's there so medical dental we've been putting four hundred a month and we spent four eighty eight now these are bills normally we don't have anything but a copay or two here but this month we finally started getting bills for um, the baby that we had in November so that's what this is mostly from the new baby, which you might be able to hear him in the background here. He's laying here asleep with me. And we have $3,700 remaining in that category. Um, car repair, we put $300 a month, and right now we have $2,972 there. We both drive older older vehicles, so when, when it's a repair, it's often a big one, so we like having that category. Christmas, we've been putting $100 a month on most months. This month, we spent some on Christmas clearance. Um, we spent $67 out of this category, so there's 32 left. I got um, Christmas pajamas for the whole family, for all eight of us. Um, 
on clearance at the children's place right after, well, in, at the very beginning of January. We don't usually do matching pajamas. We usually do pajamas for the kids at Christmas, but this year they're going to be matching. And so I've already packed those away, put them up with the Christmas decorations so that next year we'll just get them down. They'll be all ready for us. Okay, birthday and gifts. We put $40 a month, have 178 sitting there. Car registration and smog, $40 a month. There's $500 waiting for that. Life insurance, $75 a month. Then by November, when the premiums do, that will cover it all, usually. Car fund, we're putting $550 a month toward our getting a new car. Like I said, my husband is driving our our other minivan because his was totaled by a deer that ran in front of him on the highway. So we're just glad he's alive. The bulk of this came from in December when we got the payout from the insurance for when his car was totaled. And then we're going to put fifty or $550 a month for this year. And then by the end of the year, we should have about $10,000 and then he'll probably buy a used Prius. Disability insurance, we are looking at quotes and comparing and deciding on what we're going to go with, but I started putting $200 a month toward that. We'll probably pay the whole year at once, once we decide which company we're going to go with. And so I'm just putting this here so it's a little bit um, to get us started. Family Fun Fund, we didn't put anything there, didn't spend anything from there. Same with home projects. Investing, we put $125 toward our kids' 529s. We need a need to get another $25 in there for our new little one. But it's not very much, but it's something. <laughs> we started it back, you know, several years ago when we were still paying off the debts. So we just wanted to put a little bit, a little bit something there. Both my husband and I paid for our own education. So we plan on that mostly for our kids, that they will get scholarships, that they will go to affordable universities, um, but we'll, we'll help them out where we can. Okay, I put $500 a month toward my IRA, and in 2019, we maxed it out. We're planning on that for 2020. Mike has money taken straight out of his check for his pension, so he doesn't contribute here. Taxes, we pay $90 a month for our tax planning and preparation. Self-employment taxes, this might look a little confusing, but this is what happened. Um, we paid $100 to the IRS, and that was already sitting in there. And then in January, at the end of the month, I put $558 from, from my six figures under um, income for January. So that's, that's not included in what I, what I showed you up here. This is my blog income after the expenses like taxes here. Okay, our rental expenses, we spent $55. That's for our Airbnb. And what I do with that is I, you know, it's over here as a red amount all month. And then at the end, I just subtract it from the, the money we earned this month so that the money that I move over to the next month is is including that. Okay, now the exciting part here is the mortgage extra. We paid $2,070 extra toward our mortgage in January. That's the, the big goal that we're working on right now. This is our tracking chart right here. We keep it on the fridge so we can be constantly motivated and see how much we have left to pay and it reminds us of what our big goal is. So right now, this is accurate right here. This is $308,696 remaining on the mortgage for our house. And we want to pay that off in the next four years. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. I'm an open book. As you can see, as you can hear, the baby's waking up. So I better go. Talk to you later.